You tell me there's another person. I want and you then... to trust me. Ah, you already want to no, trust see, the men in the room. That's why I'm telling you about it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rafa Mutusi. If you're new here, and welcome to Trendy on Topics. And today I have Stephanie Nanga with me, and we'll be talking about side pieces and open relationships. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first question is, do you believe in love? Um, yes, I think love yeah. does exist, but at the moment, nah. <laughs> at the moment, nah. At the moment, no. Yeah. Why not? Eh, uh, if you watch my videos, um, uh -huh. my clown stories. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the clown I've seen stories. Clown stories. Yeah, I've been clowning. I'm putting the makeup and shoes to the circus. But yeah, love does exist. But I also think love does not necessarily mean like relationship love. There's platonic love, sibling love, all those loves. Okay, what, what, what should guys or what are guys not offering mostly in relationships? Um, Going back to all the clown there's stories. So much to say. <laughs> okay, one. Uh -huh. I feel like shouting with communication. communication. You know, there's this thing for communication, and you know, it, it even boils down to when you meet this guy, when you're in this friendship that's supposed to lead to something, yeah. does this person communicate? Do you get me? There's a, that's like a complete turn off. If you don't communicate stuff, I don't know whether you usually expect me. It's how um, mm -hmm. Miss Nguru was saying, you usually expect us to know, like, somehow. Oh, no, there are things you should know. Most, exactly. So I'm just saying, you just have to communicate. Don't assume. That's another thing I think. Guys think, oh, I bet she. Nah, I don't know. So just uh -huh. say it up front. Communication. Two, I don't get how. Well, like some people who are dating and sex, this. He really is trash. Like, he really uh -huh. is not the one trash for you. Trash in what perspective? Trash in the fact that, let's say, for example, you're dating. Like, you know how people say, quadrant in engagement? Uh -huh. Completely different. Like, for this two, for like the girl she's who is in it. Like, she in that relationship, wow, she's inside. But the guy is just like, I'm about to He's just around. Do you get me? Yeah. And him outside, he's clowning, making her now look like the clown. Yeah. But then for him, him, he's just, and then her, she's inside. So I think for for most relationships, one, you said communication. And two, for guys, I don't know, like make a decision. Are you in it or are you out? Uh -huh. Are you, in, like, make a decision. Because sometimes I see people and I'm just like, can somebody tell her? Or can, mm -hmm. for the guy, can somebody tell him? Because outside, we all know things are not the same. Can, can we say, okay, clowning in the perspective of maybe there's someone else in the outside? Exactly. Not even one someone. There's like a couple of people. And uh -huh. then, but like outside, the like over face is like, oh, you know, we are together, ni, 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 but you're doing so much. Uh -huh. That's almost embarrassing this other person. And the worst thing is they usually do not know. So for us who, who do you're know, know. You're, you're in that position for are we friends like that for me to come tell you? Are we boys like that for me yeah. to tell you? Oh, you know your man is. But you know, some short is also. You tell them that they it's over. Mean. You are my man. I'm yeah. like, that's it. I don't want to. So would it yeah. be? Is it? Is it better if the girl knew that this guy has a side piece or side pieces? First of all, why is she even there? If you have a side piece, why are you even in a relationship? She can be. What is a relationship? Two people. Not. It's not like a choir or like a crowd. Having a side piece is more than the polygamy. It's I'm, like, going. <laughs> I'm going guys what? it's it's still a relationship no. but she is informed that there might be someone or there is someone first of all for a girl say for example me you tell me there's someone so you have you have girls you actually tell me that. and so what, okay let me ask you what reaction or what, what do you what yeah what reaction is she to provoke out of me you tell me there's another person i want and you then, to trust me ah, you already want to you know, trust see, the men in the room. That's why I'm telling you about it. So that you trust me. Because wow. which is better? You end up finding on your own that there is someone Nothing else. Is, which is funny. People always have that argument that you do that he tells you. Why is she even there in the first place? Because maybe, you know, people are like that sometimes. Like, but, you should have told me day one. You should have told me day one that, you know what? Along the lines, I'm going to get bored or I'm going to feel like they need to be somebody. And then I tr you trust me enough to tell What? Yeah. Nah. Because personally, it makes sense to me in that perspective. Because, see, back in the days, there are people who just couldn't have like one girl around or one wife. So, more than the polygamy basically informed you that you, there's another girl or I'm into having maybe two girls. And <laughs> you don't, because, yeah, you, you also said it's a problem because you guys know outside, but she doesn't know. But, it's but yeah, it's not in my place to come tell you that. Do you get me? Yeah. And then even in the first place, it's very wrong. What, if, you, if you're going to be in a relationship, why mm -hmm. do you have another person on the side? What It beats purpose. I, 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 maybe it's just me who's being dumb. This modern shit. Like, nah. For me, if you ever approach me with 
that shit, I'm out. <laughs> like, okay, so side, so side piece or open relationship? None. I swear to God, I don't even know. First of all, I don't even know how open relationships work because one thing in relationships, I believe there's supposed to be some form of commitment. So if it's an open relationship, who exactly are you committed to? Who is your yeah, loyalty yeah, tied yeah, to? Yeah, Do you get me? I get so when I hear people, it's an open, and I'm just like, wow. But because, really? because just because the fact that you're not agreeing with having a side piece, which one seems more like much better for someone to agree with? Because personally, also having an open relationship is like modern day prostitution. Where there's a lot of modern shit. Me take me back to old times <laughs> now. It's modern, nah. No. Because, okay, basically, you're not committed to one person. In a side piece relationship, you're committed at least to two or three people. Mm -hmm. You know, in this situation, the girl can know who you're actually interacting with. Mm -hmm. But in the other perspective, you're just having your fun. Okay, but let's just be real, Raph, yeah? Mm -hmm. In what world would somebody come tell you that, oh, you know, we've been dating for, let's say, two years or three years, and I've been seeing a girl on the side, and she'd be like, ah, it's cool, I want to meet her. No, but see, you introduce that idea in the beginning before you guys go first. So what did you say? Communication. You should have told me from day one. Exactly. That's how it's things, things are. But then, then, it doesn't happen like that, babes. You come and find out what you went. <laughs> nah, can never be me. Never. Uh -huh. For me, side pieces, you tell me about side piece, means there's something you're looking for her. Something you're looking for oh, that's not in her, that's yeah. not in me. You get yeah. me? So why do I gotta be there? You can go with her. Uh -huh. ah, what piece. if is the one that's meant to be because you still believe in the fact that there's someone? She's the one who's meant to be. No, no, no. Uh -huh. You have that's the guy who's meant for you. There's another one. <laughs> there's another one. No. Really? Why is it that the only person that I want wants somebody else or is wanted by can never be me? Don't what you can't you, you don't want to you don't want to change him? That's another thing. You can never take it from stable. Never mm -hmm. change a man. You can never change a person. Be it your boy, nobody can you change can't. because change is from within. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I could do the most. I could take you from to dream where to where. Mm -hmm. I could, I don't know, bring you what. I could buy you what. But if it's not an inner decision, and why do you have to change somebody? It's not written in reality. Okay, so you know we are dating now. My opportunity. We have to change it now. Uh huh. So you can't change anybody. That's a lie. Don't don't fall for that. You can't change someone. Okay, maybe not changing someone, but working around it. You don't really agree with the fact that maybe I'd like to have two or three girls, but I need to understand the Me, fact you that... You don't even worry about this conversation. How? I, I just no, I'm not actually speaking for myself. I'm just speaking really? on the perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just speaking on the perspective of the guys who do have side pieces and the girls who do complain. But the reality is, the guys who have side pieces, most of the time the girlfriend doesn't even know. Her, she's the one who... She's the one who's being made to look like the clown. She's you know, the who make up the shoes and the stuff. And they still stay there. Wow. What? Okay. Big ups to them. Me, I can't. I'll just go. If you make it, if you bring it into the sexual perspective, does it make sense for threesomes then? People do it. Me, I can't. I can't. I'm not even lying. You bring another shot, I'm out. Why? People are like that. People are built. Those like are people. That. Step four. Step four is very different. If you're if you're planning for me, I'm sorry, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> Big disappointment. So this time can never be me. So you can't ever get to the point where you are willing to understand the perspective of the guy who's really into such things. Yeah. Maybe let me understand, but let me not accept it. Do you get me? Like I, I'll be like, okay, that's you. It's fine. I'm not gonna disrespect you on those lines, but I'm not. It, I don't have to accept it. I'm not. I don't have to sign it. I'm like, okay, oh, that nah. That's you, this is me, you do you, I just want to be me, and that's that. <laughs> but side pieces, open relationships, I don't know what. Why is there a three party? Why does there have to be another person? It might bring you guys closer. <laughs> what is she? Is she the arbitrator? I don't know, it feels like, it's okay, I've seen, I'm just looking at all the situations that I've, I've really seen. Uh -huh. That maybe, um... Oh yeah, let's bring it into the perspective of this girl can't get this guy kids, you know. And then she brings in this other girl who's supposed to help them in their relationship. But Wait, supposed to help them or get kids? You could be my surrogate, but you're not doing everything with my guy. Do you get me? Uh -huh. Even though, if it's in the context of, let's say, marriage and somebody's really having struggle to get babies and all those things, bring in a surrogate, put your babies in her, she gonna get the baby, take it out, and that's it. I do not understand why this other person has sole her, soul, to, her uh -huh. sole mission is to what help me get kids. Is her sole mission anything else? Nah, not, nah. You get me my baby and that's it. I'm out like a light. And that, 
wow, you can't. Uh-huh. I, don't know, I just feel, I don't even understand. People to be, to be in an open relationship. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. Because if I'm being honest, you can't get mad. Do you get me? Let's say, for example, um, it's, it's let's say, let's, okay, let's say Mary and John are together. Yeah? And then um, Mary is aware that there's like a Sylvia somewhere. Yeah, so Mary can't be getting mad at you. John, you don't be spending time with me. But like I was with Sylvia, and it's back at you, and you're just like, okay. But that's 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 that's, that's Nini skips all that wasted time that would have been spent arguing, cause you know who it is. Me to cut the long story short, um, uh-huh. I don't support any of those things. If you want to do it, that's by you. I just wanna be me. Okay, so since side pieces and open relationships aren't working, mm-hmm. and how then does the clowning come in? What is wrong? Oh, the clowning is when you have a side piece. You know, even having a okay, having a side piece for me, I don't know. It's just out of question. Why is she there? What are you looking for in her that's, that's not, not in me? Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. Is it that uh, I don't even know? <sighs> but other than that, what what other fact makes makes it not work out? Then let's say this guy is not is not having a side piece, mm-hmm. and he's not wanting. Then he's just not the one. It's that simple. Uh-huh. He's just not the one. Thank you. Next, move on to the next one. I'm sorry, but that's just the tea, and that's just the way it is. If something is not working out, and you've probably tried everything, he doesn't have a side piece, which he probably does, and he probably has, a, I don't know what else going on, it's probably the fact, and it's not working out, then he's not the one. Then he's not the one. You just, I don't know, just keep it pushing. Okay, going back to your stories, mm-hmm. then he wasn't, he wasn't having a side piece. He wasn't. Not that I know of. Maybe he was, and I don't know. Mm-hmm. But he didn't want some open relationship. The thing with me, I don't know, you're talking about me, but the thing for me, I think the problem that I meet with like most guys is the co- the whole commitment part. Like they're like, let's go. How was this? What is what's this common thing you say? Let's go with the flow. Let's go with ah! the flow. Then you must not make any mistakes. I actually saw this video where some guy was saying, mm-hmm. if so, if you do not know how something is at the beginning, why do you want to take the risk and just go kwamilia or kwamilia? Do you get me? Like tell me, you know how people say, tell me your intentions in the beginning. Those intentions most times are usually lies. Like he's gonna tell you, I want to get to know you, I want to, and then somewhere yeah. along the lines it changes. I wish you told me it would change somewhere along the lines. But you me? maybe you might not know it will change because also you might not know that you really like this girl because love grows a lot of times with. I don't know, love is a very strong word for me because I don't know. By the time I actually tell you, I love you, like some, I gotta like really, really love you. Do you get me? Yeah. So yeah, there's feelings, there's the liking, there's everything, but love. And I think that's the main problem. Yeah. We throw the word around. Oh, you know, I loved it. Nah, he says he didn't. But see, then how how do you expect him to tell you the intentions in the beginning? Yet some things keep growing as time goes. Because maybe know. maybe he's like, let's go with the flow mm-hmm. because of the fact that he does not know where it will lead to. The problem is with, with me. This person was like, let's go with the flow. But I think it was I came to learn later. Like he he never had that. He, his intentions were never to settle or shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was just there to be there. That's the problem. If you're telling me let's go with the flow and you actually have like I can see there is hope that there's something going to happen in the future. That's easy. But if you're telling me let's go with the flow and deep down you know there's nothing that's uh-huh. ever going to happen. I'm just there for you know mm-hmm. Bangai that time. Then yeah. And I just uh-huh. had one question to ask. Sorry. Um, I, I don't know, I keep conflicting with how people say, um, mm-hmm. if you're not dating right now for marriage, then you're dating for failure, whatever that statement says. How how does that even work? Like, I'm only 19, what's the first thing I'm going to do with her husband yeah. now? Do you get me? But, as in, how, what, what's your main purpose? Or what, do you, do you really, what's your hopes for the relationship, basically? That's what sometimes I even ask. That's, I think that's probably why I'm not in one at the moment, because I'm just like, exactly what do I want? You know, you talk about growth, or you want to find a yeah. marriage partner, but are you actually ready for all these things? So I think maybe for me, it wasn't more mainly on their part, I think when we had a part to play, maybe mm-hmm. probably I wasn't ready and I thought I was, or something, but yeah. Because personally, I believe that, because, yeah, my, maybe I might not really want to get married now, Yeah. but do I see the qualities in the girl? Mm-hmm. Like, is okay. this shorty really the girl that maybe I might want to actually marry? Because I'm not dating to break up with her. Yeah. I'm dating for this to maybe be a long, a long term relationship. Yeah. Let's stay with each other for two years, three years. Then maybe you'll get married at twenty five. You see, but we've gone through this whole stage. Siati, ah, to You know. But I don't think anybody gets into. Although the people who they just know well. Yeah. Some like you already have.
that mentality that. shift will happen. Yeah. So all relationships end up just going to the drain because you didn't even see it in him or see it in her. Yeah, I hear you. I hear so, you. Yeah. so that's what I'd say when it comes to that. <sighs> I don't know. Me at the moment, I'm just, I don't know. And I think for some people though, it's, I don't know, maybe some people, are, um, how do I, they, they don't like being alone. But then I, I, I came to realize, like, when you're single and there's literally nothing going on with you. Like, let's say I'm just like, for now me, it's mainly concentration, you know, yes, makeup, yeah. school, yeah. and all that. Now I'm going to even have more time to concentrate with my friendships. Like I, that's when I start realizing even things about people that probably used to just ignore. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I think being single is not so bad. Yeah. Okay, what do you think about these people who now, because you, you brought it up, these mm-hmm. people who can't stay single? Wow. Because I've, I've seen a lot of that shit out here and it's, it's okay, to me as a guy, mm-hmm. it's, it's not something I It's like you're almost desperate. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, I think for me, I think one time I was like that because I was once in a, in, a, in a good relationship and then from there on everything. I, I think I tried looking for what was in him in other guys and clearly, you know, people are different and all. Yeah, yeah. And they were probably not just meant for me. So at some point, it reached a point where I think for, for even those girls or even those guys who are in such positions, you reach a like a breaking point. Your threshold of pain where you're like, okay, now I'm done clowning, I'm done going through all this. It's yeah. gonna look like it's a cycle. So I think it's up for them, you really, you could try everything. Tell them, you know, it's not so bad. And then, you know, you know I met somebody else and I'm just like, yeah, you know. So you just wait for it. Sometimes I think, you know how people say, you, you attract what you needed or something. Sometimes you actually attract a lesson. Like you mm-hmm. need, you'll need one person, one more new person to meet and they'll be your threshold and you'll be like, okay, now I'm done. Uh-huh. Now I can stay alone. So for such situations, because I have, I have friends who are in such situations and I've also been in that situation. Mm-hmm. Even if somebody would tell me, you know, Steph, there's nothing wrong with being alone. At the time I was like, you don't get me. You get, I'm like, and you really can't blame them if they're used to having someone around. Yeah. So they just need a lesson. Like you just subtract some. some no, somebody will come and you'll be like, okay, now I'm done. Okay, now <laughs> for still, cause you're still on the on the topic of psychics and uh, open relationships. Mm-hmm. For such a person who can't stay single, yeah, which would be better for them to actually for them. Okay, cause maybe there's there's different instances of mm-hmm. not wanting to be single. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're in this relationship, but you get this from this guy, but you're like, okay. This is nice, but this is what I want to. Yeah, I hear you. So going and getting that other person, or being like, okay, let's be in this, but so that because I don't want to also seem like a clown out here, jumping, jumping from guy to guy, <laughs> saying that mm-hmm. I'm, I'm dating this one, I'm dating this yeah. one. Yeah. Let's be in a relationship together, mm-hmm. but then in the new relationship, you know, personal thing. Totally different. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Because you know, even when you're at with this person and of the ground, things are different to some extent. You are expected to, I don't know. Okay, I've never been in an open relationship, but I assume your loyalties are tied to at least one of somebody. Do you get me? Yeah. But then at the same time, when you're with other people and all these things, even them to some extent, they'll expect you, your loyalties to be to them. So I think for me, it would just conflict me. Like, I'll just be like, okay, this is too much. It's either not one or none. Yeah. So I think that's how for me to drop. But if for those people who can't stay um, single. Same. And they like other people too. You don't be in, in any relationship. You just play the game. I don't know. Just I don't know. You just do your thing. But don't make sure your loyalties are not tied to one specific person. Because if you say, okay, it's only this one, and then another one comes, and then you give them the impression that you know me and you are something, and then now your lo- now your loyalties are just everywhere. I don't know. If you if you're if you can't stay single, yeah. then just also don't be in a relationship. Just be in the middle. Even if your loyalties are tied to this one person, but outside there you're not to be. But how, how is the, how does that work though? How is your loyalty tied to one person and at the same time? Having okay dating, but having one night stands in the process. Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know personally. That's that's what just came to mind. I don't know. I, for me, I don't know. This it it doesn't sit well with me. Yeah. So <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I I, I don't yeah. know. I don't even know how open relationships work. So, especially for me, it, it almost was, I think for me, I would take it like, I don't know, you're cheating with permission. Do you get me? Like, I, can't, yeah. I know you're doing all these things, but low-key, I don't know, it doesn't umar them. Uh-huh, maybe they're also clowning and yeah. it's like a whole sucker. It's I, a sucker. I don't know. <laughs> for people who do open relationships and having side pieces and yeah. your girl knows and she's there. But sometimes it also boils down to, this could be somewhat far-fetched, but 
remember when you sent me the whole topic and everything, I was thinking about how for people who know your significant other has a side piece, mm-hmm. sometimes it's not even about your significant other, it's about like what you get in the relationship, or maybe there's the fear of I'm not gonna see somebody like him ever again, or you also yeah. don't want to meet somebody new, so you yes. just settle and you're like, there's a car now, you get. Yeah. So I think that's how for some of them think, but for me, <laughs> I landed somebody, ah, it's like, you know, when you me, I'm going. Uh-huh. I, I can't stay, I do not feel like there's a level of betrayal and now the fact that I'm feeling like you betrayed me and do you like nice, is it? Ah. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Okay. So basically that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Stephanie Nyanga's channel. If you're really into makeup, beauty and Always her interesting funny. stories <laughs> too, be sure to check her out. And basically that's it. Be sure to check out some of my other videos, some of my other guests, but that has been it for today. I'll see you next time.